Hi, I'm Lynn Ditt, President of E-Pest Solutions. Today I'm going to discuss with you the different tools available for any rodent control program, be it rats or mice. Uh, the first thing is to identify what you think you're up against. And a lot of those times it's measured by the dropping sizes. Uh, mouse droppings are typically 3 8 to half inch in size, and rat droppings are typically half inch to three quarters of an inch in size. So there's a noticeable difference in size. Uh, baiting is a very, very good program to, uh, to eliminate rat populations. There's a couple different strategies you want to incur or you want to uh, employ whenever you're doing baiting programs. There's two different kind of baits that are available. There's a single feed baits and multi-feed baits. Single feed baits are some of the newer um, chemistries that actually kill rats and mice in a single feeding. It allows for quicker elimination of the rodents. Uh, the bait is a little more expensive, but it is recommended in the initial stages of any baiting program to get the population knocked down. Once you get the population under control, and you want to just have a maintenance program going where you have your stations remaining out there and you want to catch the occasional invader. Uh, a little more economical bait, but it's a multi-feed bait. Uh, they've been on the market for quite some time. Typically a uh, difasinone or um, warfin-based product is what they are. But again, more economical and very, very good, still very attractive to the rodents. It just takes more than one feeding to get them. Now, when placing the bait, you want to put bait in these stations that are tamper resistant to keep non-targets like animals and children out of them. Uh, this is just an example of one. Uh, the baits are loaded on the rods to keep the rodents from removing the bait and getting them to the non-target availability. Uh, and simply close up, open them with the key. For rats, you want to make the placements anywhere from 15 to 30 foot intervals. Uh, pay close attention to interior or uh, exterior exits where the rats are probably making their entrance. And then with mice, Typically a smaller bait station, still has the rod to put the bait block on. I'm going to put these in 10 to 12 foot intervals. Uh, and again, uh, based on the severity of the infestation, uh, the more bait, the better. The real critical part of any baiting program in the initial stages, or at least first 10 days of the program, you want to make sure that you continue to have sufficient fresh bait in these stations until you get the population under control. And you typically will see uh, a, a major reduction in the population within 10 days. Rats are a little bit slower. Uh, they tend to be a little more neophobic or scared of new things in their environment, so it takes them a little longer uh, to get the bait. But the mice are, are very curious little guys, and they go immediately after the bait. Uh, some other methods would be trapping the animals. This ensures you that you get the dead animal out of the structure. Several different uh, possibilities. One's the blue board. Uh, for mice, it doesn't take quite as much glue. You can buy the paper-thin, much more economical glue boards. Simply peel the plastic cover off. Make the placement next to next to walls or any runs where you know that the rodents are. Uh, rats are a little bit bigger, a little stronger, and it takes a, an actual rat glue board. It's about a quarter inch deep, but it has enough glue. If the rats get on there, it'll definitely keep the rat in place, and you can remove the rat. Uh, then there is the traditional trap, the snap trap. Uh, obviously, take precaution in setting these. The, the rat trap has quite a bit of uh, torque to it, so you hurt yourself with that one. You always want to place these, put some peanut butter or some type of attractant on there. There's actually Bell Labs makes the attractant. It's called Provoke. One of them is for the rats, and there's a Provoke for mice that goes on the mouse trap. You're going to put the stations where the trigger mechanism is against the wall, against the structure, or you want to put them back to back where the runs are next to the wall just to ensure you, know, you have a better chance of catching the rat. These do allow you to remove the rodents once you get them. There's no chance of them dying inside your structure, creating the odors. There's some newer traps, uh, a little more expensive, but very, very effective. Simply put the uh, track in the reservoir, stock the bait. Actually, the bait stations for the rats actually have in them a slot to put bait stations. So if you want to keep the snap traps, if you're going to inside of the structure, if you want to keep the snap traps where away from uh, non-targets like animals and kids, see it actually fits in the bait station, folds over, or easy removal. So for these and other tips on controlling your rodents, call us at ePest Solutions or visit our website epestsolutions.com or the phone number 888-523-7378.